everybody, Erin from Broadway Media here. Today we're going to be going over how to make edits in your digital drop collection. Um, so I've gone ahead and, and made myself a demo show here. Um, when you go ahead and make your shows, you can name this whatever you like with whatever drops you like. Um, today we're going with a through the decades theme. Um, so to edit, to get started, I'm going to go to the settings button um, over here to the right of present um, or preview. All right, so first up, uh, you can edit your blackout settings. Um, with digital drops, everything is going to be programmed as its own scene. So if you want a blackout in between every scene, meaning every single cue, go ahead and click this, and now we have a blackout in between every cue. Um, you can also put one after the curtain warmer um, or after each act, which for digital drops is just going to be the end of the show. Um, so up to you, um, or you can uncheck all of them and use the manual button in present mode. For um, your curtain warmer settings, uh, you can choose when you're going to play it, um, at the beginning of the show, at the end of the show, one or the other, um, or no curtain warmer at all. If you go uh, with a curtain warmer with digital drops, it's going to be the generic gold bouncing balls option. So just keep that in mind when you're making the selection. All right. Now we're going to go over here to edit cues. Okay, and here we've got all of the drops that we've selected. Um, the first thing to make note of here is that our cue sheet is sort of listed like an outline of the show. Um, so the first header we have is digital backdrop scenes, which is going to be our act. Um, then we have an indentation. Here's the disco dance floor with all of the cues within that act, um, which is just one because we're using digital drops. Now, if you go over and, and highlight, uh, hover your mouse over any cue um, or, or scene or even act, um, this button with three dots will pop up. And that will allow you to do um, anything you need to do here, all these different options. Um, with digital drops, uh, each drop will be added to your show to start just one time. Um, so, for example, if we want the disco dance floor more than once, um, I'm only able to deliver it one time. However, that doesn't mean you have to use it only the one time. The easiest way to duplicate and move things around is to go up to uh, the header here. So um, we're going to here at the scene level, not the queue level. Go to our three dots. And the second option here is duplicate. So when we click on that, it's going to duplicate the entire scene. All right. And uh, from here, all you have to do is click and drag. So maybe we want to start the show with the disco dance floor and we want to end that way as well, um, sort of bookend it with a party. I'm going to click on these two lines here on the, um, the level here. And we are going to click and drag it all the way down to the bottom where we want it. There we go. And now we have disco dance floor at the end and at the beginning. So with digital drops, that's going to be the easiest way to, to move things around. All right, other things you can do. Um, if you've changed your mind, maybe we don't want to end with a disco dance floor after all. Um, you can go to the three dots and hit disable. And now that cue has been removed from our cue sheet. So when we go to present mode, it will no longer be there. Um, we will not be ending our show with a disco dance floor. If you change your mind, just go back over and re-enable and it's right where we left off. Now, last but not least, uh, with digital drops, you can customize um, this to your, uh, you can customize everything um, to your vision for the show, including the description, the page number, and the queue line. So if we go to the three dots here, um, on the queue level, the last three options is edit description, edit page number, or edit line. Um, if we want to put a page number here, uh, you can click on this, type in whatever you want. You know, the first cue of the show, it might as well be on page one. Hit edit, and now it's on page one. And you can do the same thing for the cue line. So when stage manager is ready, and we'll leave the description as the disco dance floor. So that's what it is. Now, um, when you're done, always save. Or you can save and exit, and that'll bring us back to the main menu. When we go into present mode, now we have those uh, descriptions here that we put in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. 
to get our Gold Bouncing Balls curtain warmer. And we're ready to start the show. The stage manager is ready. Let's take a look at that disco dance floor. There we go. And of course, here's our disco dance floor again at the end. All right, everybody, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, but that is our brief tutorial on how to edit digital drops.